Well, good morning. My name is Sharon Donovan, and I'm here with my co-chair, Ranaz Shamir. And it's really our pleasure to welcome you to the, our, the first global summit on the health effects of yogurt. These are my financial disclosures. So why are we here? And ASN and the Danone Institute International are partnering with the Nutrition Society on an initiative to examine and document the health effects of yogurt stimulate new research, and communicate available scientific information to healthcare professionals and the public. This is our advisory board members. As you can see, we've pulled together a, a renowned group of um, international experts on nutrition and health, and they will be helping to guide us in our initiative. So our goal here today is to review the scientific evidence for the impact of the role of yogurt consumption on nutrient deficiencies, body weight regulation, chronic health conditions, and related health care costs. And one of the reasons to do this is due to the unique composition of yogurt compared to other dairy foods. We also feel that populations may benefit from yogurt consumption to improve nutritional status and health. And we also want to examine the scientific rationale behind existing dietary Dairy, dairy dietary recommendations. So quickly, a little bit of housekeeping. We will begin this morning with plenary presentations. I'm sorry, the first one should say um, 8 to 10.30. We will then have a break. And after the break, we're going to break into um, four workshops in parallel. So during the break, we'd like for you to select the workshop. And please note that there's some slight changes in the rooms compared to what's in your um, booklet. So the first one will now be in 153A, and the yogurt and bone health will be in 151AB. This is a, a larger room, but we'd really like to try to distribute the group between the sessions. So if you go into a room that's packed, we'll, we'll ask you, if possible, to please move to another session. And after that, we will have a report. Oh, and I also mentioned that box lunches will be provided to the rooms. Um, during this discussion period, so it'll be a little bit of a working lunch towards the end. We'll then come back and have the discussion leaders report back from the workshops. We'll have a series of short talks, and it's not in your program, but we've incorporated a short bio break about 2.20 to 2.30, so we don't have people wandering out, and, and the restrooms are very close. We will then have a, um, some additional plenary presentations focusing on um, dairy dietary recommendations. And then my co-chair, Renan, will provide a wrap-up. And we think this is really going to be an exciting day full of science, which will allow us to really evaluate what is the current evidence, hopefully identify the gaps in our knowledge, and then move forward. So as you're in your discussion sections, your workshops, there'll be a short presentation, but then there'll be time for open discussion. And we're really looking for your feedback on what do you think is important areas for us to move forward in this area re regarding dairy? So I really thank you for attending the symposium. It's the last day of the meeting, and I'm so pleased to see so many of you in the room. So on behalf of the Danone Institute International, ASN, the Nutrition Society, and the Dairy Research Institute, who is also um, funding today's session, I would like to welcome you, and I hope that you enjoy the session very much. So we'd like to now immediately move into the um, first session, and I will invite my co-chairs to, um, to the podium. And since we have very complete biographies in our booklet, we are not going to provide long introductions. We'll just indicate where the people are from. So our um, co-chairs are um, Barbara Rolls. Is Gail here? OK, so we will go with Barbara Rolls from Penn State University. Hopefully, Gail will join us soon. She will be um, providing an introduction for Andrew Prentice. Um, also, last, I'm sorry, housekeeping. You will see two evaluation forms. The one in your blue pamphlet, this is for um, the workshop, and we would prefer, really, and would like you to fill this out and complete this. If you're a registered dietitian and you're interested in getting continuing education, then you need to fill out this other evaluation, which was on the front desk and return that to the desk. Okay, thank you.